Hi guys, I'm Yellow Purple. Um, well, today at school I went around asking people, do you want to ask me a question? And here are the questions. So here is a tin with all the questions in. There, and I'm going to answer them here. This might be another series that I try doing as well. Because I ask, they can be serious, they can be absolutely bullshit, silly, random, whatever. Whatever you felt like was a question that you needed to ask. So, without looking. I'm scared actually, I know some of these questions. First question. Do you like cheese? Yes. In fact, I'm going to put all of them. Right, all the ones that I've done there, right. <laughs> Do I like cheese? Yes. Some of them. Cheddar, yes. Goat's cheese, I absolutely love. The only type of cheese that I don't like is brie. I don't know, I just don't like this texture of it or the taste of it. Next question. Oh, I also asked, um, do you want me to say your name for the question? Who asked it? Or oh, anonymous, and that one was anonymous. So is this one. And this is anonymous, why do I have to ask you a question? Good question. Well that is because it's for this video. Next. Anonymous. Why did you start Yeah, why did you start YouTube? Well it was more of just I was bored, I didn't know what to do, so I thought screw it, I'll just How hard can it be? <laughs> that was a mistake and a half. So I just well, it started off with the random snow fact, um, just any any video that I could scavenge, 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 I can't say it, you know what I mean, um, from the childhood, from me, just anything I've done, anything that I could get, I just chuck it there for the internet to find. The first video I uploaded was the Me and the Giant Swing from PGL. Okay, next question. Elise said... Why did you call me an asshole in my shout out? Well, that was because, um, well, it kind of speaks for itself, that one. Because you wouldn't leave me alone. You asked constantly, can I have a shout out? Can I have a shout out? Can I have a shout out? And it gets irritating after a while, and especially, yeah. So anyone will come up to me and ask for a shout out, the answer is no, in advance. I'm not going to do any more shout outs. Unless you give me an absolute brilliant reason to. Got that? Right. Next. Can I have a shout out from Ali? And it's got her Instagram on it. You know what? I'm just going to hold this up to the screen and if, you know, if you want to. Probably done it backwards because it's the whole camera thing, but oh well. Yeah, if you can read that, go, go, go follow her on Instagram. Kieran Dessa. Kieran, we all know that song, don't we? God, flashbacks. Kieran Dessy says, I love your video, dog. It's the bomb.com. Especially my video and my song. It's cool, like ice cream. My question is, can you do a remix? Tar baby kits, hashtag, hashtag. Sure, why the fuck not, right? Hey, 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 Karen, Karen, Darcy, how, how, how are you doing this very, very, very special day? Next thing. <laughs> how do you deal with everyday struggles? I don't. I just push my problems aside and hope for the best. Because, well, many people would probably say starting YouTube would be one of the worst things that you do when you already, people don't like or already don't like you, but I'm embracing the fact that people don't like me and if they're watching this video, I've been told that they do it only to make memes, they do it to make fun of me, and they do it just to laugh at me as a person and it's like, well, I'm not doing it for them, I'm doing it for me. 
when I record a video I feel really positive and good afterwards and I want to do something positive with that energy and that's when I actually get the most homework done or I do the I draw the most or write the most or whatever I want to do after I record a video I want to do it because I've got the energy because I know that it helps me so um, that's why I do it and it kind of it helps with everyday struggles because I know when I get home there's the possibility that I can't always that's why sometimes I miss a day like for this week I've missed a few days and not been able to upload but I know that when I get home it's always something that's going to be there waiting for me just this one thing and there's something like that for everyone there's always going to be that one person that one thing that's always there and you have to hold on to it and never let go next Anonymous, do you ever get embarrassed walking around with your friend who dresses gothic slash alternative at all? No. Like I said in my video, uh, how to dress yourself, you can dress however you want as long as you're confident. It shouldn't affect anyone else. It shouldn't affect me. I'm really proud that she can be who she is. And when I see her happy being like that, it makes me happy. So I'm not embarrassed. I'm really happy for her. And why should I be embarrassed for someone else's happiness? Next. Jasmine, right, <laughs> she wants to me to say a short story of a mermaid, right, um, okay. I can't think of any names for a mermaid now. Um. Jennifer were different. She didn't know why. She often sat on her own, watching the other mermaids go by. She never knew what she was careful of. But one day it was to change. One day she realised that despite how quiet she was, how different she was, how much of an outcast she was, she could embrace that and be who she is without everyone wanting to judge her. So she did. She stood up. She swam over to the other mermaids and asked, why aren't I allowed to play pearl with you? Pearl, it's like their version of football. <laughs> pearl ball, right. Why aren't I allowed to play pearl ball with you? And they looked at her and said, because you've never asked before. It all starts with asking one simple question. So she swam over to her dad, her tail gleaming in the moonlight above the ocean top of the water thing <laughs> and went over to dad saying dad it finally happened i embraced myself and i'm proud because it means that i can play pearl ball you're welcome jasmine a little motivational story in there as well so be yourself and if people don't like it find something else to enjoy just like jennifer enjoyed doing pearl ball and she didn't like that other people change like she enjoyed it so she just went over and asked if she can play it and they respected her for that like everyone should okay next question have you ever sucked a dick no do you know how many microorganisms and ugh it just scares me you know, it just creeps me out thinking about how ugh no <laughs> next question why did you make a YouTube channel? We've already had that one. What's your favourite food? There's too much to choose from. I love salt sandwiches, chocolate, caramel, marshmallow, candy floss. Oh, what's that one called? Oh. I love pasta. I love sushi. Sushi, that's it. It's an all time favourite sushi. Just noodles, oh my god, what's it called? Chicken fried rice, pork fried rice, and lemon chicken, prawn crackers. Oh. Right, 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 moving on before I go and eat the cupboards out. Why are you so weird? Everyone's weird. The thing is, we're all weird and that's what I like about the human race. It's one thing that I like. Everyone should embrace the fact that we're all different and we're all weird in our own ways. 
if you don't show that you're weird, then you'll never know who likes you for you. That's what I worked out. I, I was weird. And look, my true friends came out and said, Hey, you, you had the same sense of humour as us. You're weird like us. C come and sit with us. And it's like, yeah. You'll never know who your true friends are until you brush your weird side. Next. Kale. Do you know Mike Cunt? Yes, he likes to be in the downstairs region. Okay. Why can't I give birth to goats? Because, well, do you mean by having sex with a goat, then giving birth to a goat? Because that genetically isn't possible for the like, difference in DNA. I wonder, has anyone actually ever tried to get a goat embryo and put it inside a person so they can actually give birth to the goat even though it's not their, D not their DNA in it? I wonder. I wonder if that's possible now. Next question. Have you got an 11D? No. I'm in 11D. I've never had an 11D in me. And I don't have an 11D. Next. Cock. That's literally just that one. Just cock. Do you mean like a cockerel? Because um, look, I like them, but I wouldn't have one because you can only have one, and then it means that the hens will be able to get like their eggs will be fertilized, so I won't want to bake with them any. I'll, but if you mean like cock as in like a guy's penis, then no either. Because I like how you explore microorganisms. And... Right, moving on. What are you hoping to do in the future? Well, I'd like to be an archaeologist. I'd like to go to college, study geology, geography and medieval history. Go to university, do an archaeology course and then become an archaeologist. And there's loads of stuff that I want to do in my life that I can't really get into in this video because, well, it, it'll take up the entire video and we've already been going for 12 minutes, so... Next. Why do you carry your briefcase? Because I like briefcases. There's not really much more to it, otherwise it makes me organised. It's handy to have there, so yeah. Next. Favourite film, there's too many. Favourite set of films, Star Wars. Favourite film, I love Danny Darko. Right, so, um, favourite type of music, sorry, I just, pizza. But anyway, back to this. It's irritating when that happens, because it might now I have to edit these. Because I had to just play, I had to stop recording that one to see what it was. And now I'm going to have to edit these to, oh. It's gone from an effortless video to editing. Now I don't mind editing when I'm in the mood, but... Ugh, I just want to get it, ugh, I don't want to get into it, right? Favourite type of music? Don't have one. I love it all. For different reasons. I mean, there's some people that I just can't stand to listen to. And it's pretty obvious, like One Direction, Justin Bieber, the other, I can't remember the name, you know, that one. There's another one as well, that's how much I don't want to listen, well, uh, I've tried listening to him, but I just can't get into that style of music, if you know what I mean. But I listen to stuff like The Palatone, Slow Cub, Panic at the Disco. Hamilton soundtrack, um, Lonely Island, My Chemical Romance, I'm not an emo by the way, <laughs> god, um, but I can't remember the name, the other one as well, right, next question, do you think trees are land-occupied? Yes, they are, and they're all coming to destroy us all. Open your eyes, people. 
the land octopi, the trees, they're not real. They're not what they seem. They're not that. They're not leaves. They're octopi. We, why has no one noticed this before? We need to act now. We need to tear them all down before they kill us. Next. I can't get them now. There's only two left. Right. Right. Do you know Josh Owen? Name sounds familiar, but can't put a name to the face. I'm so sorry. Where's that other one going now? Still in the box. Oh, and Anonymous, do you like cheese? Not had that one before. So, yeah. I might do this again. Basically, if you see me around school and you've got a question, tell me and I'll write it down and see if I answer it in a video. That's what we're doing now, it seems. Wait, how many questions were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Well, I just got through twenty-three questions there. Fair enough. Right. So. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. God, my voice. Right, <clears throat> right, um, <clears throat> pizza. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe for more abysmal content and well, bye.